Chimpy Bowlers 20. Hey everyone, what's going on? Um, man, uh, it's hard to make videos like this because you understand the magnitude of um, decisions that you make in your life can affect a lot of people um, all at once. And when you get to that point um, and you understand that the best intentions for you um, and ultimately to be in your truth and find out what you really want to do in your life and how you want to accomplish it, um, that moment comes and you take full advantage of it. And there are no um, other ulterior reasons other than being happy and wanting to be somewhere where um, you feel like it's an environment that's conducive for you maximizing your potential uh, as a human being and, and as a player perfecting their craft. Uh, I put a lot of hours in um, and and a lot of work into just trying to accomplish things that I have dreamt of as a kid. And it started with um, not only going to Duke but getting drafted number one by Dan, Dan, excuse me, Dan Gilbert and his um, ownership group, Nate Forbes, and also the ball guy, uh, as he likes to be called, um, and their families. And um, Nate Gilbert actually put in the uh, the draft call, which is awesome because I ended up meeting them at the draft lottery. Um, and they took a chance on a 19-year-old kid that was coming off a, a stubbed right toe um, of being in a – in a very, very uh, immature place at the time because, I mean, what 19-year-old doesn't um, take their time and make decisions. But, uh, man, I grew up, uh, excuse me, I spent part of my life and my years in the NBA in such a great environment in Cleveland and being there from the start in 2011. And um, it now coming to an end in 2017, which is still crazy in my mind. Um, but um, I just want to say that all the individuals that I met over my six-year span, and I don't say it as if this is a ending friendship or anything like that, but um, you guys understand how much those moments meant to me and connecting with everyone because it matters and I care and I love the world and I love people and I love being around people so um, as guarded as I am and as everyone likes to say that I have a wall up um, spending two minutes or five minutes asking someone um, genuinely about themselves is what I truly care about and to be able to share those moments with um, just everyone in Cleveland and everyone in Ohio and doing something that was just a unbelievable experience for all of us. I still can't believe, uh, you know, just the feats that we reached in a six year span. And, and I'm truly grateful and I'm thankful. Um, this is a special video just strictly to Cleveland and of all of those who are just finding that self love. Um, and, and that's what I'm here to bridge the gap for. So uh, this is a special thank you to Cleveland. Um, I love all you guys' support and all you guys' love over the course of the amount of years I was in Cleveland. Um, and, and I say that because I know that the journey continues from this point on. And um, there will be nothing but love that I have for the organization and what we got to be a part of because there are some special individuals there and I'm shouting out you guys and you guys know who you are and to my teammates crazy stories crazy experiences and just unbelievable human beings man y'all know how this brotherhood goes man all love <laughs>